Okay, so now we have got the uh, front of our basket and uh, the shoulders all cleaned up of hot glue, so now we can move on to the next step. Um, for now, we're going to leave um, the front panel taped in place to the rest of our box assembly. Uh, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute while we talk about the parts we need. A little alcohol left there. So we'll need these four uh, parts. They're identical to one another. These are called the ramp support stringers, and uh, as you might expect, their job is to give us a place to attach our ramp panels to, um, where the coins will slide down. So. Uh, these four pieces come from the dark sheet and need to be peeled, so we'll peel those now. Okay, now with the with the paper peeled off these, you can see a little bit better uh, the shape of this part. How it's a um, basically a long thin uh, piece. It has a notch here and a little hook here. So we have the hook end and the notch end, and. Um, I'm going to put these in place on this existing crow box, this assembly we're working on, to kind of demonstrate how they go on, and then we'll um, go about cementing them. So on the front of the um, basket window, you'll see that we have uh, notches cut out here, 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 and here. There's two on each side, one's deeper than the other. Um, so the way we install the hooks is there's corresponding holes in the actual face of the um, crow box front panel and so the way we do this is we take the notch end of each of these support stringers and we put them into that hole in the face of the crow box and then we just hook the hook into the front window into the corresponding little slot up there just like this so that's how we'll have all four of these placed of course we're gonna go back through this one at a time and uh, we're going to cement these in place and the way to, we're going to do that is by putting a little blob of cement around this tab here on the three sides of it before we squish a hook down into it squish a hook down into the cement so I'm going to get started with the cementing now so I'll just keep my other parts nearby here I've got my cement I'm going to use a nozzle for this an applicator tip that is. Alright, so I'll begin by outlining this little tab here with a little blob of cement. And then I'll put this hook into the face panel first and then squash that hook down into the cement. So I might have dispensed a little too much cement there for mine, so I'm going to have little blobs on the front of my crow box, but um, I don't mind terribly, and I'm pretty sure the crows don't mind, so I'm just going to roll with it. So we just need to make sure all these are tapped up into place, so just like this, just to make sure those hooks are fully grasping the front of that basket. And we're at another one of those famous spots where we're going to wait for cement to dry. We'll do the backs of these of these parts which are inside the crow box um, in a moment and then we'll move on to yet another step. Okay so now we've given these uh, stringers the front of them um, a good 15 minutes for that cement to dry down a little bit um, so now it's I think safe to handle this and do the backs of them so what we're going to do is remove our tape here so that we can take this this front panel off and work on the back of it do is pretty simple. Now that we can get our front panel off the machine, you can see that the way that these stringers are designed, 
that we just put on, they actually stick out uh, a little bit on the inside. So we're just going to do a simple thing. We're just going to circle each of these in cement, make a little boot of cement up against uh, the back of each one of these. That will secure them to the inside. It'll also plug uh, any uh, small gaps which might let water in, rainwater. So I am going to fire up my cement here. And uh, yeah, there's no real rule here. Just uh, just get all four sides of this where it meets. Um, it's not going to hurt if there's a little extra cement. It's just the inside of the crow box after all. And uh, we do want to make sure that we get these uh, small gaps filled in with cement. I think that ought to do it. So now I'm just going to take this part and flip it back into place onto the front of the existing machine that we've got so far. The box. I'm not going to bother taping it. I just need a safe place for it to sit while while all that cement cures. And I'll just give one last tap upward on the bases of these. Stringers, then. I guess I will tape this over again, because I think the cement will run less if we let it cure standing up. So this needs about 15 or so minutes to dry down also, and uh, then we'll keep rolling.